Hello. Good day everyone. I'm Tefs. Welcome back to this channel. This next repair is an Acer Aspire laptop computer. Not turning on and has no standby light indicator. I'll show you how to fix it. If you are new to this channel and have found it informative, then make sure to like share and subscribe. You can also ring the notification bell to keep you updated. So let's get started. Let's remove the motherboard so we can see the other side. More than one year since I last uploaded a laptop video. Not that no laptop to repair but most of them are an operating system is the issue. I know how to install an operating system but I don't want to make a video of it. I only make a video if the electronic circuitry is the problem. The CPU fan is preventing the motherboard from being removed so let's remove the fan. The other side of the motherboard looks cleaner. No power is mostly a standby supply, a shorted power MOSFET, or a shorted rail line is the problem. So let's first check the main rail line if there is a short circuit. I clip my negative probe to the ground of the USB port. Let's set the multimeter to continuity mode and let's tap the positive probe to the rail lines. Beep means a short circuit. A rail line is connected to a ceramic capacitor, or an electrolytic capacitor. So let's tap the positive probe to them. The other connection of the capacitor is ground so it will beep. This electrolytic capacitor beeps on the positive side.
It's a 68 microfarad and 25 volts. It's 25 volts so it is probably the 19 volts rail line. Let's test another capacitor. Most of them beep. Seems the main 19 volts rail is shorted. These MOSFETs are connected from the DC input and to the 19 volts rail line. If the rail line is shorted these MOSFET will not turn on so the voltage from the DC input will not pass through the 19 volts rail line. One of them beeps because it is the 19 volts rail line is shorted. You can identify a shorted ceramic capacitor by its physical appearance like burnt, discoloration, or crack on it. There are some capacitors are discolored. It is better if we spot a shorted capacitor so we can avoid the injecting voltage method. Seems this ceramic capacitor is cracked. And it is also like at the line of the 19 volts rail. Let's clean it. As you can see it has a crack. Let's remove it.
The short circuit is gone. The ceramic capacitor is really shorted. Let's replace the capacitor. The estimated value of the ceramic capacitor is about 4.7 microfarad to 47 microfarad 50 volts. I am not an expert in the soldering of SMD components. So please don't complain. Let's add flux and replow it using the hot air soldering station. Seam it has been soldered correctly. A few moments later. The battery charge indicator is light up and it's turning on now. The laptop now is working great, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. Please like share and subscribe. Once again I'm Tefs, see you again next time, bye for now.